open up the energy. Breathe in, spread the fingers wide. Lift the chest, bring a smile to everybody. And then exhale, hand to heart, hand on solar plex. Close the eyes if you want. That wonderful reflection of closing the eyes and feeling that inner peace helps when your eyes close. Breathe and open up. Reach, reach, reach up. Show the blades together. We're going to hold it here for three, two, one. This time we're bringing the hands to heart. Hands come in prayer pose nice and slowly. Fingers together. Drop the head. Relaxing the legs, relaxing the shoulders. Feeling the elbows fall to the earth. Namaste. Windshield wiper with the legs, so if we have them cross, we windshield wiper the legs. Al, however, is most comfortable with you. Sometimes when we square, it feels good. So try it out. If you have to do it this way, try it out. Yes. Whichever way is best for you, because sometimes putting that leg behind you kind of tweaks it. So we always honor our bodies where they're at, okay? Try sitting on the pillow if that helps out. Having the pillow underneath your knee, do whatever feels right for you, okay? good nice job taking the hands once again and cupping them we're going to twist the neck over the left shoulder and look over to the left and then all the way over the right shoulder except we're going to look down so we feel that nice stretch right here sternocleidomastoid muscle right here go at your own pace looking oh, no. left shoulder and then down over the right. Left. And right. This time we're going to hold it over the left. And as we hold it over the left, we're going to really stretch, breathe in. Use the right leg to really press you and look out over the left and then slowly come back to center and look out over the right. Good. Round circles with the chin going towards the left first. Round circles, up, right, and down. And you're gonna feel that snap crackle pop in the neck and you're gonna go, oh, thank goodness, I didn't realize my neck needed this wonderful opening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And when we smile, we loosen up the strain in the brain. Because those wing muscles are tied to those muscles all around our skull, our neck, our shoulders. One more time. Drop the chin into the chest. Feel that release on the occipital ribs, the base of your skull. Breathe in, breathe out, three breaths. Now slowly, chin comes up towards the right shoulder, opposite direction, neck circles. Oh, yes. It's like when you work out your right arm, it's same with stretching. We work out the left and stretch to the right and stretch to the left. Moving your neck has everything to do to tie to all the muscles of your hips. Everything's connected. One more time. Circle. Ooh, nice. Taking the hands and placing behind the back. Windshield wiper. See if you can do this, Al. To the left, to the right, and to the left. And we're really pressing that 
knee. So this IT band on the left side is going all the way down and that hip's going all the way back. So you're feeling it right here. And then when we go to the right, really pressing it all the way down. And the neck can come back if it feels a little stiff. Because it's good to do it this way anyways, because what are we doing all day long? We're looking down at our phones. And that gives us an extra stretch. Uh-huh. So we're gonna hold it here on the right side, okay? Knees down, hold it, press, 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 breathe in. Breathe out, press. Slowly come up. Press the knees down, inhale. Exhale, press. Good, nice. Now the knees come up, coming up to bridge pose. Bringing the feet together, we're gonna come up to bridge and open up the knees at the same time. We're gonna try this out, okay? And we can come down to the elbows if you need to. Breathe in, press up. And breathe out, down. This is a wonderful hip stretch. And it's also strengthening our arms. We're only gonna do this up, and down two more times. We can do this. Spread those fingers wide, dig them into the earth. Inhale up, head comes back. Exhale down, chin into the chest, relax. One more time, we can do it. Inhale up, press. Exhale down, chin into the chest, relax. Ooh, that was a good one, nice. Bring the knees together. Breathing in. We're breathing in. Head comes back. We're breathing out. Drop the chin into the right side of the chest. And you're gonna feel it in that right hip area. Breathe in, press the knees towards the earth. The right hip wants to rise up a little bit and the head comes back. And then exhale. Come in. And again, you can do this on your elbows out. Inhale up, chest up. Exhale back. You've got a little bit of a twist. So as long as it's not tweaking, you're not feeling pain. One more time. Breathe in, chest up, chin back, knees down, press. Exhale. Knees come up, off the pillow if you're on the pillow, elbows come down. Knees to the left, excuse me, to the right. Breathe in, head comes back, really press those knees down to the earth and you're feeling it in the shoulder blades as your head comes back. Exhale down. Now if this tweaks any part of your body and there's so much pain you can't stand it, then you're just gonna relax and honor your body. Knees press to the right, head comes back, breathe out. Inhale, come up. Two more times. Knees press to the right, inhale up. Relax. Inhale, knees come up. Exhale. Press, press, head comes back, chin up. And relax, come up, breathe out. Come back up to the hands again. Windshield wiper, the legs. Twisting the body all the way over to the left side. We have the hand on the outside. And again, too, that might not jive with your body. So you might need to put your hand on the inside of your left knee. The deeper twist is the hand on the outside of the left knee. Using the left hand, Really twist you into the stretch on the inhale and then just relax your neck on the exhale, bringing that neck back into the chest. Breathe in, press. Nice big grin. Really look behind you to get that whole body, whole spine stretch. And then relax once again. Two more times. Breathe in. Knees come down. Really press yourself into the twist. Exhale. 
Drop your chin into your chest. Relax the body. Relax the shoulders. Doing that one more time. Breathe in. Knees come down. Look out over the left shoulder. Inhale. And then slowly exhale. Come back to center nice and slow. Like a nice relief, a nice ah. Good. Coming over and windshield wiper on the right side. Windshield wiper right side. Adjusting the hands behind so they're nice and stable. Breathing in. It's almost like we're pressing our left hip towards the right and we're twisting over, looking over our right shoulder. Exhale. Drop the chin into the chest. And again, take a break if you need to. Good job, Al. Inhale. Yep. Twist to the right. Look out over the right. Press your hip towards the right. And then exhale. Relax that left butt cheek. Come into a reprieve. We're doing that two more times. We're just taking a nice slow break. Breathe in. Twist. Look out over the right. Press that left hip towards the right. Really squeeze that butt cheek and press your towards the right. And then slowly exhale. 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 Nice slow movements in our meditation yoga. Breathe in. Press. Look. Breathe out. Coming back to center. Now our next portion is a little bit harder than this. So we're going to flow through it and I'm going to give you different variations. Rolling over onto tabletop. We're going to do a down dog roll. Down dog roll can be done on your elbows. So Al, I suggest you start off this way, buddy. Okay. Spread your fingers wide. Pop up, push back into down dog. So you're pushing back on the heels. You're feeling your calves really stretch. We're coming into a plank pose, bending our knees a little bit and pushing back and up into down dog. And we're only doing that two more, three more times. Ready? Plank. Push back. Up. Push back. Plank. Bend the knee slightly. Push your sit bones towards your heels. Straighten the legs out. Push back so you feel the calves. You might need to adjust your hands and feet. We're doing this one more time. You can do it. Down to plank. Bending the knees. Pushing back to the heels. And then up into down dog. Hold it here. Adjust the feet. Adjust the hands. Press back. Breathe out. Head down. Three breaths. Slowly back to tabletop. And coming onto hero's pose, if it's possible to sit on your knees for a little bit, breathe in and breathe out. This is how you can do it. Breathe out, breathe in. That's fine, babe. That's fine. You're standing up. Watch. Al, press your hips forward. There you go. Come down. You're feeling that nice little bit and bend in the knees, even if you have a nice quadricep stretch, okay? Press up, so you're feeling that nice energy, and then come down. Yep. Press up. One more time. And then when we come down, we're going to come into a cross-legged pigeon, okay? On all fours. The right knee is going to stay forward. The left leg is going to cross back onto the surface, okay? Bring that left knee to the surface and then slowly walk that left leg back. You can bend forward all the way or you can stay right here. Support your body, frame your torso and drop your chin to your chest. This is where we are in our meditation yoga today. If you want to feel a deeper stretch, Bring that left leg back a little bit more. Three more breaths. Breathe in through the crown of your head like you're lifting your spine up, your chest up. 
And when you exhale, you're dropping your hips to the surface. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, relax. One more inhale. We lift our body up, lifting the chest so you're creating that alignment with the spine. And on the exhale, we're really relaxing. You're letting go. You're feeling that drop in the shoulders. You're feeling that drop in the hip. You're feeling that drop in the gluteus maximus on the right side. Ooh, that's a good one. Good job. Slowly walk that left knee towards the right so you're coming back into your tabletop pose. Coming back into your tabletop pose, taking the right leg, crossing it over the left, and then walking slowly backwards. And if that's enough for you and you're right here, perfect. That's where your body needs to be, okay? You go as deeply as you want to in the intensity, adjust the hands, drop the chin to the chest, and say, okay, I'm gonna hang out here. And after a while, after a couple of breaths, you're going, oh, that's too much. Then come forward a little bit. Always different variations for your body. Breathing in. Reach, reach, reach. Reach for that power of strength. Breathing out. Absorb that strength in your mind. The sound of Lam Mantra is tuning into your body. And your body is, and your mind is automatically saying lum, lum, lum. There are certain sounds that open up chakra energies in our body, and this is the sound that opens up the root chakra. Breathe in one more time. Reach that crown of the head all the way up. And then slowly relax it. Drop the chin to the chest. Hold your torso up with your hands. Breathe in slowly, come back up to tabletop. Oh, that was a good one. Opening up the knees nice and wide, and the feet are gonna come wide with the legs. We're going to press down, so we're sitting in between. Now, sometimes that's not possible, so Al, you're gonna take the pillow. Watch me, Al, take the pillow. Right here, buddy. Okay. Yep. If that's not big enough, then adjust your body. <laughs> adjust your body. Here. Use that pillow. I don't need it. Okay. When you come down, come down to your elbows. Basically, we're, we're going to stay right here. Okay. So our butt's in the air, right? See, our butt is in the air. We're going to do a pelvic tilt. And our feet are wide as long as our knees are wide. Breathe and press that pelvis. So we're almost like doing a cat cow on our elbows. Press the pelvis towards the shoulders and then exhale, relax the pelvis. Breathe and press the pelvis towards the shoulders. Exhale, relax. Inhale, press the pelvis towards the shoulders. Exhale, relax. One more time, press the pelvis towards the shoulders. Hold, and then relax, and let go. Coming into a child's pose. Al, this is what I want you to do. Come to your belly. Put the pillow right here, and just relax, okay? With your forearms forward, okay? because it's hard to bend those knees here. We're gonna work on those knees. For everybody else, we're going to do a child's pose reach. Sit bones come back towards the heel as much as possible and you're walking your hands over to your left side. And as far as you can go to the left, bow over that left knee. Now if that's way too much, Athena, oh, I can't stand this. Then you're coming back a little bit towards the center. So you're adjusting your body to where you are on a five to six sensation rather than a seven to eight sensation. This really opens up the knees and the hips. You're gonna feel it in the gluteus maximus as well as the legs and the arms with the arms being up this. 
and you need a lateral stretch in your body to really open up that opposite hip. Close your eyes and focus on the deep opening and stretch. What is your body doing right now? It's breathing. Now inhale and focus that tight area in your body. A healing ball of energy light about the size of a tennis ball. Only you're seeing that healing ball of light in your visualization, in your lower back, in your knee, in your hip joint, wherever you need it. Breathe into that sensation and breathe out, relax. Slowly we come up on the next inhale and walk our hands over to the right knee. And then we walk our hands over to the right knee. Again, we're going as far as we can. And then we drop it forward. If that's too far, then we come back. And Athena has surgery knees and challenging knees, so if I can do it, anybody can do it. It doesn't matter, you don't have to be at this level of stretch yet. You honor your body where it's at. And you thank your body for what it's doing for you today. Breathe in slowly. Fill up that belly. That energy, filling up the belly with air is the key to that healing power. Breathe out. Bring it to your knee. Bring it to your hip. Relax your head. Drop your shoulders. Woo! Good job. Nice, everybody. Three more breaths. Slowly we come up. Breathing in as you come up. Always when you come up, go ahead and breathe in. That's really good when you do that. Coming into a windshield wiper pose. We're going to do Fonzie thumbs. And we're going to rotate our thumbs inward. So what's happening right here? What do we do? Why are we doing this, Athena? Right along here is your spine. Head, neck spine. So we're loosening up any tightness in the spine. Yeah. Opposite direction. Now we're going to keep the left thumb in the Fonzie position. We're going to stop the rotation and then take the left hand, left palm and press that left thumb open. You're going to feel a deep stretch. This is good. There you go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Do it to the other side. Left thumb, open up. Sometimes the yoga teacher gets the opposite when she's trying to mirror everybody. <laughs> Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Taking the index finger and the thumb of the left thumb on top of the right. Press your thumbnail. Press the top of the finger. There you go. Press it. Press it. Acupressure. Breathe in. Press really good. Breathe out. Release. Now we're going to take the bone part. Okay. The bone part's essential because that's where your cervix is. Okay. Cervical. Excuse me. Press. Actually we're going to press on the outside joint area. Press. Inhale. Exhale. Relax. Press on the inside of the thumb and the outside of the thumb. Inhale. And exhale. Relax. Now we're on the joint right here. Okay. Press on the inside joint area. Get that little fleshy part in the ligament right there. Press it. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, fleshy part. Fleshy part's important. Nice, big, fleshy pin pinch. So we're actually pinching our thumb and on the outside. Pinch, breathe in, 
breathe out. That helps the gluteus maximus in the meaty area. Now we're going to do that to the left side. Up by the thumbnail, YouTube, Facebook, up by the thumbnail, press. Inhale. Exhale, relax. Outside of the thumb joint, breathe in, press. Inhale. Exhale, relax. Inside of the inner thumb and the outside, press. Breathe in. Breathe out, release. Joint bone right here, we're feeling on the inside, that little fleshy part in the ligament area. Press. And exhale, relax. Fleshy part, we're breathing in. Top part of the thumb, breathing in, pressing. Breathing out, relaxing. When the back hurts, this is one of the things you want to do to it while you're driving. It's easy to do that. And everybody can go, oh, Fonzie, you know, rolling the thumbs. Yeah, man, this is good. Now we're going to take our legs into butterfly pose, bringing the feet together and the knees out. When you push the feet away from you, there's a lesser sensation. When you bring the knees into you, there's a deeper sensation. You decide how deep the sensation you want it to be. Taking the hands and covering the top of the feet, cross the thumbs over. As you cross the thumbs over, the energy of your body is evenly distributed. Just like when I massage you, I'm crossing your body over and the energy is evenly distributed. Breathing in, breathing out, dropping forward first, chin into the chest. And a nice keeping the alignment in the spine is reaching that top part of your head, stretching it towards and away from you in a nice alignment with your spine. So if we're down here, come up a little bit, keep alignment with the spine, press and reach, and then relax and drop. So you're dropping to the center of your triangle here. Press, breathing in, reach away. So you're feeling that lower lumbar stretch. And when you're relaxing, separate the shoulder blades, drop your chin into your chest, feel that lovely release. Two more, stretch, inhale, exhale, drop, stretch, reach, reach, reach. And on this exhale, we're going to drop our right ear to the right knee. Drop the right ear to the right knee. Exhale. Breathe in back to center. Drop left ear to left knee. Breathe out. Three more times on each side. Breathe in center. Right. Exhale. Go at your own pace, just feeling that stretch, that feeling that lovely release. Reach that left ear all the way down to the left knee. You get that extra sensation in your body, which is a yummy sensation. And you're feeling that stretch all the way from the rib cage down to that hip. Yeah. You might even feel some snack crackle pops, which is excellent as well. One more time, we're stretching towards the right. Right ear all the way into the right knee, feeling that extra opening. Drop the chin to the center. And then left ear all the way over towards the left knee. Whoo, hello. And then back to center. Breathing and coming up. On our pillow, YouTube, Facebook, we have an eye pillow. You can use a dry washcloth if you don't want to have one of these available or purchase one down below. And either have a pillow or not a pillow. Place the pillow underneath. I'll go ahead and throw me that pillow back. Thanks. Place the pillow underneath your feet. 
knees open wide. You're going to come down to your yoga blanket, yoga mat. Rest your head. Place the eye pillow over the eyes. You smell that nice aromatherapy. That is the aromatherapy that's um, tuning in with the earth. Feeling and smell. One hand is over the heart. One hand is over the solar plex. And in the first three breaths, we're going to press simultaneously the lower lumbar in between the shoulder blades and the back of the neck into the earth. Inhale. Feel the belly up with air. Exhale. Slowly let the air go out. And then that last bit of air, breathe it out all the way and press. Press the lower lumbar into the earth using your legs, back of the shoulder blades and back of the neck. And then you're going to relax. Breathing in, reaching up once again. Chest and belly fills up. Breathing out, relax. Press, lower lumbar, shoulder blades, back of the neck. Release. Inhale, lifting your torso up, your hips up, your heart up, your belly up towards the earth, excuse me, towards the heavens. Exhale, release. Press, lower lumbar, in between the shoulder blades, back of the neck, into the earth. Wonderful. Working on the energies of the root chakra to open up those emotions that are overwhelming us. And the first step is to breathe. Just feel the breath flowing in your body. You have one hand over the heart, one hand over your belly. Both elbows are relaxed on the yoga blanket. You have your feet either on top of the pillow or the knees are on top of the pillow. So you're feeling that sensation of comfort where your lower lumbar is as flush with the earth as possible. So it feels comfortable. If it isn't, adjust the body, please. You're feeling your body lift as you inhale and exhale. You're tuning in with the sound of the vibration of the music. So just repeat about three times in your mind the sound of Lam.
tune in with the feeling of the earth on your body, on your back, on your lower half, on your upper half. Feel the stable and solid foundation the earth gives us. Indications of root chakra imbalance. You get angry fast. You find yourself depressed. You find yourself too overwhelmed. You find yourself snapping. You find yourself crying. Your emotions are all out of whack and you don't know what's happening to you. Building emotional strength in your body. We breathed in deep. In a meditation, relaxation. Raising our vibration of energy. Just by doing that. We tuned in with the sound of the music. Another indication for strengthening our will through the sound of Lam. We're tuning in with the feeling of our hands on our body, our hands touching our body, in an alpha deep relaxation state. We feel the solid foundation of Mother Earth beneath us. We're grounding our body. If you ever had the sensation of vertigo or you've been on a boat where it's wobbly and feels unstable, you have more of appreciation for the solid foundation of Earth that you walk on. Simply breathe into that solid foundation gratitude.
breathe in and we're going to bring our knees together and we're going to roll over onto the side making our way up to a comfortable seated position inhaling at the same time and as we do that the eye pillow is going to fall off we're going to feel really bright outside which is good it kind of wakes us up out of our meditation either sit on the pillow to lift up the spine feet together however they need to be lacing the fingers stretching them up towards the sky and when you stretch them up towards the sky just rock from side to side from right to left feeling that nice hip stretch that nice hip release dropping the right ear to right shoulder when you come over to the right the left ear to left shoulder when you come over to the left. Inhale, stretching the laced fingers up towards the sky, bringing the chin up with it. And when we exhale, we're gonna separate the hands and lace them behind our back. So the hands are gonna be laced behind our back. Breathing and lifting up those arms and then breathing out, coming back down. Three more as we lift up, the chin comes up this time. Up. And exhale, back down. Inhale, lift up. Breathe in, reach, reach, reach. Breathe out, back down. Just one more time. We can do it. Inhale, lift, chin up, chest up. Really hold it up here and then slowly release the arms back down. The chin comes level with the earth. Nice big grin, bringing one hand on the heart and one hand on the solar plex once again. Relaxing those elbows to the side and dropping those shoulders down. Close the eyes again for that wonderful deep reflection. We're gonna go over in our mind's eye how we felt in yoga class today as we did the stretches in the beginning. The stretches along with the breath just help us to connect our body to releasing the stress in the body and also in the mind. So our emotional health is lifted. When we were in the meditation, we were tapping into all areas that are raising our vibration of energy in the root chakra. Root chakras are energy wheels in the body, going from the root all the way up to the crown of the head, bottom of the feet, and center of the palms. There are something 33 chakras, but those are the main ones. And as we inhale, exhaling, appreciating this day, appreciating your body and just feeling that love and gratitude for the body and for one more breath we're going to tap into that love and gratitude by feeling it even tenfold close your eyes and imagine that one person and hug that one person that you love the most in your mind's eye just hold them to you Feel that energy as you inhale and you embrace them. You want to squeeze them because you love them so much. And then when you exhale, feel that relaxation. Your hands are still on your heart and your solar plex, but you're feeling that deeper gratitude. And that is going to bring you deeper vibration of energy to emotional health. That and sleeping. <laughs> Inhale deep one more time. Exhale, let's bring the hands to heart. Bow the head. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste. Ooh, that was a yummy sensation. Yes. YouTube, Facebook, thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations down below. Thank you.